Hey guys, it's Keisha Rose and I'm back with another Milso video as you guys can see. It's just about our one year in the Air Force. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing more about that, where I talk about, you know, the transition from BMT to tech school to our first duty station, living overseas, you know, all of that stuff. And as far as just any more Moso or military related videos, um, hit subscribe if you haven't already and then stay tuned for more. So basically in this video I just kind of want to you know recap our year um, and then just kind of talk about it because I know a lot of people have been recently messaging me about it. I know I haven't been the most consistent on YouTube, sorry. Um, I really am trying this year to you know make that a goal. Uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, Josh went to BMT. It was just a really, it was a really tough time going from seeing someone just about every day for years and them being literally your best friend and like the person you do almost everything with to like you can't even talk to them anymore you can write them uh, letters but you don't even get a response for like two weeks so that was a really tough time um and then you know going to see him during bmt graduation was amazing um it's definitely one of our best memories then going to tech school where tech school wasn't even what I expected. I know a lot of people are always excited about when tech school happens and I was but it wasn't even as great as I expected because you can't talk to them all day and then at night a lot of times they take up even more of their time doing inspections and open ranks and things like that whatever. Um, so that took more time and on top of that you know in the beginning we talked a lot um, but as tech school went on like he really just he felt like he didn't have enough time to himself and he still wanted to talk to me but he still wanted to do the things that he wanted to do so he tried to do them both but I knew it was kind of hard so like we didn't talk as much as I wanted to but you know part of being in a relationship is compromise so I try to let him do his thing um but yeah so then going from you know he left tech school we got to spend a couple weeks with family before we left and then after that we were off to England and I have that vlog of us traveling to England. Yeah, so basically where are we now? We've been living in England since July. So how many months is that? July, August, September, October, November, December, January. We've been living in England for six months. Um, and honestly, I don't think military life is what I expected it to be. It is way better <laughs> than what I expected. I thought like, you know, you feel like, oh my gosh, like, what's about to happen, the military is about to have control over, you know, my husband or my wife or whoever you think. Because that's what BMT and tech school feels like. You don't know what's going to happen ever. I mean, you don't know if they're about to get recycled and they're going to stay longer. You don't know what's going on. They get in trouble for everything. In tech school, we didn't even know when he was supposed to leave anymore because he had already finished school and he was stuck there. I think BMT and tech school make you feel like this is about to be the worst career path ever. But to be honest, I mean, I'm not saying, um, and I'm not gonna get into super detail because it's not my job, it's his job, but it's not what I expected at all. Um, it's like a regular job. He goes to work, he comes home. We still have our weekends, unless of course he's on weekend duty and he might have to go to the shop for a few hours. He still gets time off, he can still take leave and go on trips, I mean, it's like a regular job with with better benefits because we both get to go to the doctor for free. I mean, our all of our medical expenses are paid for. Um, our rent is paid for. Our utilities are paid for. You know, we get a food allowance. All these things are paid for. They even pay for you to move. They pay for you to move, I mean like just your regular stuff, like your car, your stuff, but they even give you money for your move. It's definitely not as bad as I was expecting it to be. The like things that have kind of changed over this year from a year ago to now, so we obviously make way more money than we have before. His checks are much bigger than they used to be because, you know, working minimum wage jobs, you're not going to make the kind of money that we make now. 
we also live in a much bigger house than we lived in before but i know before we had like a roommate situation and it was like a two-bedroom townhouse and now we have a three-bedroom two-bathroom well three-bedroom two-and-a-half bath you know detached house with a backyard a garage everything and you know all of these things are from being in the military i mean is it all good of course not you know there's going to be certain situations that you have no control over i think he's lucky to have been put in um the shop in the base that he's in because i feel like he has a really chill shop when we moved here i didn't expect to make friends out of the people that he works with and their wives and things but i mean those are the people that we hang out with the most for those of you who are worried about you know joining and making friends i mean you'll probably be surprised by the people that you find although we are overseas and there is much more of there's a lot more camaraderie overseas because you don't have your family so instead of like being like oh forget my coworkers and forget these people i'm gonna go hang out with my family who lives like an hour away or two hour like you know a few hours away you can go visit them on the weekends or if you have friends outside of the military that you can hang out with like no you're here in a different country where you probably don't have other friends or family so that's probably why our experience is the way it is for us and it's easy to make friends here i've also i think another thing that's happened in this year is i've gotten way more involved in things i would have never guessed i mean i'm a key spouse i didn't think that i'd be able to be in a position like this and i wouldn't have even expected to be in a position like this like i wouldn't have guessed it but you know i'm involved as a key spouse and i help out with the spouses club for our squadron so you know i can do a video on what a key spouse is and things like that and how you can possibly get involved so if you guys are curious about key spouse stuff then um comment that down below and then i can do a video on that i'll only do it if people are interested though because i don't want to you know waste you guys time as far as the social club like we make events for the spouses you know we try to take care of the spouses and their families so i mean overall i really think it's been a good journey for those of you who don't know josh is only in the military for this four-year enlistment that's it he's um it's not a career thing for him the reason that he joined was because um he wanted to be able to go to school go back to school it was starting to get really expensive we have a lot of school debt and we haven't even finished um so to be able to get education and for me i was wanting to pursue my goals and my dreams and build my business um and the way I want to start off building my business is, is through YouTube. So for the next three years, which you guys are going to kind of see from me and my YouTube channel is um, hopefully more of the growth aspect. I know if you guys ever see my intro where it says like travel, growth, beauty, milso. I feel like I have beauty videos on my channel. So that's where the beauty comes in. Travel, I have a few travel vlogs now. Um, some London ones and a Cambridge one. Um, although I do plan on getting more soon. As far as Milso, obviously I've got a bunch of Milso videos on my channel. Now I really want to hone down on the growth part. I want to help motivate people to go for their goals and I want you guys to see me going for mine. So I just want you guys to see me stepping it up, turning YouTube into a business and then building a business from there and things like that. So if that's something you'd be interested in, watching me vlog as I grow a business and turn YouTube into my business, then please let me know because I would love to do that. Also, I want to put out more video editing videos um, just to help other people with their channels. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how this first year in the military has gone. And then this is kind of how I want the next three years to go. Um, so I hope you guys are in it for the long haul and that we can grow together. Um, I think I might start doing like monthly challenges or something so that it can be very interactive and we can support each other. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for videos that you want to see from me or any questions that you have, comment those down below. If you haven't liked the video by now, please give it a thumbs up, especially if you watched to this point. I know you're a real one, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know you're there. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video.